Welcome to day four of your Pilates Reformer 14 day program. If this is your first day joining, we're taking 14 days to really focus on centering. And I mean that both mentally and physically. We're gonna start with a very focused, centered, calming series, and then we're gonna move into something a bit more physically challenged so we can both center our minds and get our endorphins flowing. I know I could use it. I'm feeling a little on edge this morning. We'll start on two red springs or two heavy springs. Headrest will go up, meet me lying down on the machine. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe so I can see you every single day. If you're already subscribed, please join my membership channel. That's where I have a series of super secret exclusive workouts and we get into a lot of fun variations. To get started, we're gonna reach behind us, grab onto both straps. We're gonna press away from the foot bar, place the straps onto your thighs one at a time. We're gonna go for our thighs and straps ab series, which will be a very foundational warm up. And we're really gonna focus on incorporating our breath and getting that core centering and mind centering. So I'm gonna scoot away from the shoulder blocks a little bit. Legs will be in tabletop, shins parallel to the ceiling, knees start right over hips. I'm gonna lower my toes right into center. Big inhale, exhale, hinge at the hips, bring the knees in toward your chest. Deep breath in, ribs stay down. Lower the toes, exhale, knees come in. So I'm trying to maintain a neutral pelvis as the toes go down. So I've got a natural curve in my low back. As I bring the knees in, the pelvic position can change a little bit, but what we wanna do is make sure we're keeping the rib cage connected down toward the hips, exhaling. And we're still keeping a heavy sacrum. So I'm not lifting the hips up off the mat. I'm still keeping my tailbone really heavy, my ribs connected down, and really using my abs to power this rather than my legs. So start to explore lateral expansion. As you inhale, your ribs expand out to the side. Exhale, abs engage and zip together. Deep breath in, toes lower down. Exhale, use your abdominals to exhale. So often when we don't find that core connection, when we exhale, we may find that we end up using our traps or our neck muscles when we don't mean to. Good, two more. Exhale, really trying to focus on keeping those ribs down as the feet dip down. Inhale, raise it right back up. Good, next now we're gonna take circles with the knees. So finding your neutral spine, once again, bottom of the sacrum heavy on the mat, ribs down. Gonna open up my knees, lower my feet, lower the knees, and up. So just like we do in leg circles, in feet and straps, we're drawing a circle with our knees instead of with our feet. Good, so feet stay together. Knees are separating at the top opening as we press down, come together all the way before we bring them back up. Good, four more. Still using your breath. Think about exhaling through pursed lips. It'll help with your core engagement, good. Now we reverse, so we're gonna press down, open the knees at the bottom, draw them up around together. Exhale as you press down. Inhale as everything draws back. Check in with your shoulders. Make sure they're not riding up. You stay rolled back. Once you're feeling stable and you've got a rhythm going with your breath, start to notice if you're holding tension in your hands, if you're gripping the mat, relax your fingers. If you're frowning or furrowing your bow, brow, Feel the muscles in your forehead melt away to the sides. Feel space growing between your eyebrows. Feel tension release in your jaw. Good, let's take two more. Hopefully your lower abdominals are waking up here. And last one, good. Back to starting, we're getting warm. We're gonna scoot away from the shoulder blocks a little bit. Legs start in tabletop. I'm going to press through the straps, extend the legs out to 45. Bend the knees, bring them in. So my torso is staying really steady. I'm gonna exhale. And inhale on the way back in. Exhale, feel your abs engage. And zip up to bolster this movement. 
good. Let's take three. Big inhale, exhale, and still these can come in over your hips, but take care to keep that heavy sacrum on the mat. Two, and one. Good, back to tabletop. Now let's play a little bit. We're gonna take some variations on leg circles. So we're going to press up to 45, raise the legs to 90, lower down, bring the knees in. This is our prep. Press up to 45 or lower, raise the legs up, hinging at the hips, lower down, bend the knees in four more, and then we'll add on to this, take it into our circles. So here it's very important that you're maintaining that core connection, ribs down, using your breath, relaxing through your traps, your, up, your neck and shoulders and upper back. Good, I'm gonna take one more. Good. Next time we press out, we're gonna raise the legs up. We're gonna take our leg circles. So just as we do with feet and straps, we're gonna circle the legs open, down, around, together, and up. So the, the straps around the thighs are giving us a little bit of support, but it's a slightly different anchoring than when we have the feet directly on the straps. Might be a little less stable. Might be a little more stable depending on where you are. But for me, it's definitely less support. And I've got to use my core quite a bit more to stabilize. I'm also getting maybe a little bit more inner thigh work, but your mileage may vary. You can take this very small, or you can take it quite large depending on what suits you. I'm gonna take one more in this direction. And let's reverse. Legs press down, open wide, or as wide as you like, and bring them up. And you can take this quite small. You can take it much larger if you have the core stability. My objective for you is make sure you're not really arching through the back and letting the ribs flare up. We wanna keep that connection of ribs to pelvis, natural curve in the low back if you can, or if you've got back issues and you need to flatten out the lumbar spine, that's fine too. No problem. Let's take two more. And last one. Very nice, let's pause at 90 degrees. Now we're gonna externally rotate, flex the feet. So heels are together, toes are apart. I'm gonna lower down to 45 degrees. We're gonna go for our frog variation. Now we bend the knees, extend the legs out. So as we bend the knees, the heels come in toward the pelvis, knees go wide until we extend the legs, everything zips together. Good. Deep inhale. Exhale as we extend. Big breath in, check in with your core control. Take a moment to observe if anything in your torso or head is starting to grip and try to take over. We want this move to be powered by the core and the thighs. Not your forehead, not your jaw, not your neck. If this is feeling too challenging on the abs, you can always bring the legs a little higher if you need to. Whatever adventure you need today, choose that one. Let's take one more. Good. And we'll bring it up to 90. Carefully, slowly, we're gonna take these straps off of the thighs and we're gonna sit up carefully with control. We'll switch to one red and one blue spring or one heavy and one light. Lie back down on the machine, headrest will stay up. Arms extend up over your shoulders, legs to tabletop, shins parallel to the ceiling, knees right over hips, arms long over your shoulders. We're gonna press the palms down to the bed and raise them back up. We're keeping your neutral spine. Exhale as we press through the palms, inhale as we raise them up. If you'd like to curl up with the head and chest, you're welcome to do that. Other options are extending one arm out to, one leg out to 45 alternating sides and or pressing both legs out to 45. I'm gonna keep the head lowered for now. Good, let's take two and one. Nice, now I'm gonna bring the arms out to a V, a high V. So I'm separating the hands at the top, pressing the palms in toward my hips, raising them back up. So palms face forward as the arms go up face down or in toward the hips as they come up. You can also, of course, take your curl for this one, zipping the belly button in and up. I'll keep my head down once again. And feel free to take any extended leg options as you do this one to make this the challenge you need today. 
Let's take three more. Last two. And one. Good, flip the palms to face your hips. Arms come out to the sides, exhale. Push the hands in toward your hips. Palms face forward as the arms come out to a T. Exhale, hands in toward your hips. If you'd like to bring the head up, head lifts up as the hands press in and or take your leg variations. Same rules apply. Let's go for four. Using your breath, deep inhale as the arms go up. Exhale. Using your lateral expansion of the lungs every time you exhale. Good. Now we're gonna flip the palms to face down. We're gonna anchor the elbows in toward the bed. Bend and extend the elbows, tricep extensions. Head can go up or be down. Legs in whichever position you like. Tabletop, one to 45 or both to 45. I'm keeping the elbows really tight to my waist or tight to my rib cage. And I'm making sure that the palms stay facing the floor, facing the reformer. Shoulders rolled wide. Still breathing here. Exhale. Once again, taking stock of if you're gripping anywhere in your face, your neck, or elsewhere. Last one here. Now, next time we come up, we're gonna bring the hands out to the side slightly. So elbows are tight to the waist, but we almost bring the hands into that V shape or W shape. Palms press in toward the hips, come back out to that slightly separated position. So elbows stay anchored inward and hands are moving in and down, up and out, in and down, up and out. Use your breath. Good, you've got five, up, four, up, last three, and two, and one. Good, palms come back to parallel. Rest the feet down on the foot bar and we're gonna move on. Next up, we're gonna play the plank game. So I have all springs on my machine for stability to start. You can do this one on all fours with palms down or wrists, or if that's not working for you, you can always come down to on your elbows. So for me, I'm gonna start on my wrists, straight arms. My toes are gonna to curl under and go right up against the edge of the sandpaper. Wrists under shoulders, I'm gonna push through the palms, draw my ears back. Engage my abs, zipping my belly button in and up. I'm gonna lift my knees and hold. My spine is in neutral, not curling under or sticking out. I'm gonna hold for another count of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Knees lower. Next, we're gonna repeat that, but now on every round, we're gonna remove one spring. So please remove a red spring or a heavy spring. Hands come back under your shoulders or elbows under shoulders, toes curled under against the sandpaper. I'm gonna lift my knees, zipping my abs in and up, but now I'm trying not to move the carriage at all. So this will become more and more challenging the more springs we remove. And we're gonna hold for another seven, six, five, four, maintaining that pressure through the palms two, one, lower down. Very good, reach back, remove another red spring or heavy spring. Hands under shoulders, press up through the palms, toes against the sandpaper, lift the knees, pull your belly button in and up, feel your abs supporting you. Make sure your chin isn't jutting down toward the floor. We're holding for another seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower the knees. Sit back, remove another spring. I'm gonna take off my yellow spring, my extra light spring. Press up through the palms, get the knees under the hips, lift the knees up, belly button pulls in and up, and you'll see your carriage is a lot harder to control. We are holding for another count of seven, six, five, four, I'm shaking, three, two, one. Whew. Lower down, shake out your wrists if you need to. We're gonna reach back, remove the red spring or the heavy spring that remains, we're on one blue spring only. Hands under your shoulders or elbows under your shoulders. Last round. Push up through the palms. Get yourself steady. 
Big inhale, zip your abs, <laughs> lift up your knees, control the carriage. Easier said than done. Holding for another seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew, knees down. If you were shaking, you were not alone. Find your child's pose. Arms reach out, hips come down to your heels, chest lowers down. Relax your forehead down to the mat. Big breath in. Exhale, release. Good. Take your centering breath. Feel your ribs expand into your back. Feel your breath expand into your back. Out to the sides, into the front. Good. Use your abdominals as you exhale. Big breath in. Feel everything release. Exhale and abs engage. Roll on up. Next, we're gonna continue on with our plank. So you can stay on a blue spring or a light spring. If that's too challenging, you could alternately switch to a red spring or a heavy spring to add more support. I'm gonna come down to my forearms for this one, wrapping my hands around the shoulder blocks. This time, legs are together, toes still curled up against the sandpaper around the edge of the machine. I'm gonna engage my abs, bring my rib cage down to my pelvis, lift my knees, extend the carriage out, really extending my legs, and I'm finding a nice long plank position. Bend the knees, bottom comes up. Exhale, extend, find your plank. Hips aren't too low or too high. Good, let's keep it flowing. Extend, exhale, inhale, bring it in. Make sure your shoulders aren't getting away from, or your elbows aren't getting away from your shoulders. You wanna keep the elbows right under those shoulders. Good, you've got five, four, three, Two, and one, good. Bend the knees, bring the carriage home. Sit on up, shake out your wrists. Take a quick, take a quick break. Next, we're gonna begin playing around a little bit more with the plank concept. So hands back around the shoulder blocks or wrists over your shoulders if you're going for a straight arm. Lift the knees, press out to your plank. We're gonna hold here and I'm gonna lift one leg up, place it back down, lift the other leg up, Place it back down. What we're trying to do is keep the carriage stable, keep the pelvis stable while we're removing the support point. So definitely shoulders working, definitely abs. The desire for your butt to come up will definitely <laughs> arise, pun intended. Good, let's take two more each side. And switch, last set. And switch, good. Organize everything together. Now, next we're gonna bend the knees, bring it on home. Next, we're gonna finish up with our side lying leg series. I took out a ball just to place under my rib cage. You don't need this if you don't have it. What we're gonna do is basically get propped up on our forearms. Forearm will be down on the lowered shoulder rest. So I'm gonna use this as a little cue under my rib cage to make sure I'm keeping this up. If you don't have it, just make sure you're not sinking the ribs down and you're keeping them lifted. Completely optional. So for this series, I've placed on one blue spring or one light spring. You could alternately do a red spring or a heavy spring. I'm gonna pull forward on that strap, place it onto the arch of my left foot. Bottom leg is in tabletop, and I'm actively pressing through that supporting arm, that right arm. I'm gonna lift the leg to hip height, press the leg out to the side, bend the knee, bring it back. Leg is at hip height, flex through the heel, Flex through the foot, excuse me. Bring it all the way back. So just, if you have the ball under your ribs, it doesn't mean we're sinking into it and letting the body relax. This is my cue for how much I need to lift my ribs. If you don't have the ball, just make sure you're actively lifting up. Good, let's go for three. Keeping the leg at the same height the whole time. Two. And one, flex the foot, leg comes forward, point the foot, leg goes slightly behind. Flex the foot, leg comes forward, point the foot, leg goes slightly behind. Let's go for six. And stretch. This is five. And stretch. If it's more comfortable for you to place your hand onto your upper top hip or extend it up, feel free to do that. You could also take your arm choreography forward and back if you like, whatever resonates with you. Good, a few more. 
using your breath. Inhale as you go forward. Still lifting your ribs. Last one. Good. Lower the leg down just for a second. Next, I'm going to rotate the leg so the knee faces the ceiling. I'm going to bring the leg up and down. You can flex the foot on the way up if you like and down. Really, this is the time to lift your bottom rib up and down, up and down. Engaging the abs the whole time, relaxing your neck. Turn to hit yourself in the face with a rope. <laughs> Easier said than done. Two more. Good. Last one. You can point the toe on the way up or flex it, whatever works. Good. Now big circles, forward, up, and down. Forward, up, and down. One more. Forward, lift the bottom rib, up, and down. Now we reverse. Down, up, forward. Down, up, forward. Really feeling the glutes. If you did lower body with me yesterday, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bend the knee, take that off of your foot, slowly return the carriage, pound out your glute. Let's move to the other side. So facing the opposite side, getting situated, I'm gonna place the strap onto the arch of my right foot. Once again, I'm on my forearm, this time on my left side. I'm using my ball to cue my ribs lifting here. You don't need to use it. My top hand is onto the mat. My right leg is lifted at hip height, foot flexed, pressing the leg out to the side, right in line with my hip and bringing it back in. So I'm not sinking down as the leg goes down. I'm really forcing myself or encouraging myself strongly to lift the ribs up off the mat, rib cage oriented down toward the pelvis. Resisting on the way out, resisting on the way in, controlling the movement every way. Of course, you can always place your top hand onto your top hip at any time. Good, finishing up here, we're gonna extend out to the side. Flex the foot, bring the leg forward. Point the foot, bring the leg back. Flex the foot, draw the leg forward. Point the foot, bring it back. Keeping your top hip pressed away, length through the upper part of the torso, between the waist and the hip. Good, four more. Deep breath in, exhale. Make sure your head isn't dipping forward. And use your breath. Really breathe through the hard part. Big inhale, feel the muscles in your face relax. Exhale, abs engage. Good, last one. Good, and relax for one moment. Next, we're gonna rotate the leg externally so the knee is facing the ceiling. We're gonna lift the leg up, lower it back down. Lift the leg up without collapsing into the ball. You know, still lift that rib cage. If you'd like to flex the foot on the way up, point it on the way down, go for it. And yours may not have this range, that's completely fine. I want you to work within the range you have access to today, which may be more or less than what you had access to yesterday or a week ago or a year ago, it doesn't matter, whatever you can do today. Good, big breath in on the way up. Check in with your ribs. Exhale as you press down. Keeping that leg pretty much to the side. Not too far forward, not too far back. Good, and press down. Next, we're gonna take three circles in each direction, keeping that bottom rib lifted. The leg takes a big circle, as wide as you can comfortably do it. Leg goes forward, up, down, and out. Abs stay zipped in and up. Glutes are probably getting quite tired here. Up, leg is externally rotated, down, and to the side. Up, oh, my height is getting really challenged here because I'm getting tired. You may feel the same. Oh, shaky, shaky, shaky. Good. Means we're working hard. Let's take the strap off of the foot, place it back down by your side. All right, next, let's finish up with a little centering and stretch. So I've placed the headrest up. My feet are on the sandpaper or alternately, you could place them on the foot bar if that's more comfortable for you. I'm going to place my right thigh, cross it over my left thigh in a pretzel position. And either you can hold on to your knees, your shins, or your ankles or feet. Pull them in toward your torso. You can also rock your hips side to side. You're gonna feel a nice glute stretch. 
can re-grip wherever you like. Use your breath here. Don't be afraid to breathe out loud. You're probably in your home. <laughs> probably no one can hear you. Exhale, feel your lungs expand in every direction. Exhale, nice and long. Inhale, let's switch sides. Left leg crosses over right leg. Grab onto your knees, your shins, or your ankles or feet. We're gonna re-pretzel. Gently pull your legs in toward your torso. Let's find that big 360 degree breath in. Lungs expand into your back, into your sides. Exhale as long as you possibly can. Feel the tension in your shoulders and traps melt away. Another big inhale. Feel the space between your eyebrows increase. Good, unpretzel the legs. Hug your knees in toward your chest. Knock your hips side to side. Same pattern as you exhale, feel whatever is tight or gripping. Start to unwind. Bring your feet up to the ceiling. We're gonna flex the toes, flex at the ankle. We're gonna put a little pressure into the feet, opening the knees wide, happy baby. Big breath in, expanding in every direction. Let your shoulders be heavy, melt into the mat. Good, hold on to your ankles, butterfly position, open butterfly. If you come down toward your pelvis, knees wide. Feel your sacrum be heavy like a boulder on the mat. Good, one more time. Good, feet come back to the sandpaper or to the bar. Place one hand on your chest, one hand on your stomach or your belly. We're gonna take a big breath in. Feel everything sink down. Feel the abs engage as you exhale nice and long. Inhale, feel your chest expand, feel your belly expand, feel your lungs expand. One more big inhale. Release all the tension in your body. Good. Well, place your hands down by your side. Open up your eyes. If you close them, roll up to sitting. You did it. Thank you so much for joining me. I don't know about you. I feel like I just worked hard and had a nap. If you'd like to continue joining me and you're not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed and you want a little bit more, please consider supporting my channel by joining my membership option. There's a bunch of exclusive content there that's really fun to do. So I hope to see you there. Thank you again to my membership supporters. You guys are making this all possible. And thank you also to my super thanks. Have a wonderful day and come back tomorrow for day five.